up everybody this is beautiful five coming at you with another one of my reaction videos i have with me the ginger here and uh we will be reacting to power rangers versus voltron death battle now this is the 75th death battle and from what i've heard like from comments and shit on rooster teeth first this is supposed to be one of the best looking death battles that they've done in a very long time plus also have you seen the power rangers movie ginger you have? Oh god, I did too. It was so good, right? It was fucking awesome. It was wicked cool. So, um, yeah. So I think the Power Rangers might win this fight for two reasons. One, I think they're better in hand-to-hand -hand combat, like on ground, than say the the the, the kids from Voltron. On, I don't really know nothing about Voltron. Yeah, I so, Voltron. yeah, I never watched it. So. I've heard of well, I've always known what it was. I just never watched it. But, but I also have heard, though, however, that the Voltron robot is actually incredibly powerful. It's supposed to be, like, the strongest robot in their universe or whatever. So I, I don't know if it could combat the Megazord. So, you know, I, I want to place my faith in Power Rangers. So right now, I'm going to go with the Power Rangers. So you you going to go with the Power Rangers? Okay. So uh, let's find out. Let's see how cool this FL is in 3, 2, 1, go. All right, here we go. It's finally time for one of the oh. matchups in Death Battle. Yeah. yeah. the giant robot fight of all giant robot fights. Mm -hmm. The Megazord. The Megazord. The mech commanded by five Power Rangers and Voltron, the defender of the universe, piloted yeah. by five paladins. For this matchup, there will be no Dragon Zords, no Galaxy Garrus, oh. no Robot Brachiosaurus, and no mice. <laughs> it's the good old 5v5 war of the giant robots. He's wearing I was gonna say, the Megazord does have another form. Their weapons, armor, and but I guess they won't use that. Who would win a Is it just me, or does, does this battle feel as big as the Goku versus Superman battle? I feel like it could be. Dawn of time it could. Good has battled the forces of evil. The vicious witch Rita Repulsa. Mighty Morph was just the best kind of Power Rangers. I fucking love the original Power Rangers. And Zordon. Rita zapped him into a time warp. But not before Zordon managed to lock her up in a space, space dumpster. dumpster. That was the name of the first episode. Apparently that thing is a space dumpster, or to put more accurately, a galactic recycling bin. Uh, however, Zordon knew it was only a matter of time before Rita escaped to conquer Earth once more. Good thing Zordon had thousands of years to come up with a foolproof plan. He could summon the five greatest warriors from around the galaxy to defend the planet. Or... Teleport to us five overbearing and overemotional humans. No! Not teenagers! <laughs> I fucking love that. I love that part. That's the nine. how it worked. <laughs> Zordon granted five teenagers the ability to draw power from a dimension called the, the Morphing, Morphing grid. grid. This molecular transmutation turns them into superhumans with access to mighty mechanical beasts called Zords, becoming the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Mastodon, Pterodactyl, Triceratops, Sabertooth Tiger, Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> oh man, I spent so many years watching these guys. I fucking love Mighty Morphin. To the best. First, there's Jason Lee Scott, the Red Ranger. Oh, yeah. He's a fearless leader, <laughs> expert martial artist, and owns one of the coolest swords of the Enjoy world. Enjoy sushi. Rex. <laughs> Billy Cranston, the Blue Ranger, is the genius of the Invented the body switch machine. machine. Oh, yeah. Especially his impressive Triceratops sword. With its grappling hook horns, this 140 ton behemoth can stop a foe in its tracks. Trini Kwan, the oh. Yellow Ranger, is equal Extra spicy chili dogs. Oh, she's very, very, um, Sonic. <laughs> Kimberly Ann Hart, the Pink Ranger. Too much pink energy is dangerous. Zordon 1880. Which can fly at. Enjoys Tommy Oliver, who is the White Ranger. Love White Ranger. But not least, there's Zach Taylor, the Black Ranger. Dude, hip hop keto martial art. That's awesome. I fucking love that. <laughs> Dude, he had the coolest fighting style ever. I loved Zack. Yep, this guy fights aliens with the power of dance. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, this Mastodon Zord. Although slow, this Zord can freeze blast enemies with ice. Or saran wrap if you're short on budget. <laughs> <laughs> when five giant mechanical beasts aren't enough to keep the villains down, these machines join together to... Or just the coolest friggin' thing you've ever Dude, seen. Dude, I love it. If they show the segment. Oh, yes. Yes. I love this segment. 
Go go Power Rangers! foot colossus with enough power to effortlessly tear down killed 18 giant monsters. All five rangers pilot the Megazord as one, combining their own martial arts. Goldar, kick his ass. It's like a giant rock'em suck'em robot with laser beams. Fry enemies with its cranial laser, blast fireballs from its hands. Shoot immobilizing beams from its eyes, and even use the mastodon's face as a, as a shield. shield. Yeah. And when it's time to send someone to an early grave, they summon their blade ex machina, the power sword. sword. Oh but yes. Back, simply touching the power sword can recharge the Megazord if it's low on power. It's not just a battery. This giant sword is over 100 feet long and orbits the Earth when not in use. Plus, it orbits the Earth. <laughs> With just one swing. Yeah. And even more, it's a surprisingly versatile weapon. Like with this feature they implemented against the Nasty Knights. Any energy we throw at him, he just reflects back at us. That's why our weapons are burned out. So what do we do about it? Reflect his energy back at him, along with a bit of our own. I don't get it. Apparently, the Power Sword can absorb oncoming connections. Like the Master Sword? <laughs> oh god, it destroys the Master Sword. <laughs> Pummeling monsters every weekday afternoon, the Power Rangers have been through almost everything. From fighting a world destroying dragon, oh. to a walking pumpkin. No, not the rapid, not the rapid pumpkin. No, oh. God, that was horrible. That, that was the worst episode ever. Oh, Tommy. Anyway, the Megazord is strong enough to lift and throw the 170-ton Dragon Zord into a mountain. Oh, the Dragon Zord is awesome. <laughs> Super C4 reference. That's great. While many of these monsters should weigh similar to the Megazord, some certainly weigh even more. In fact, in a general scale, when you double the size of an object, its weight increases by a factor of eight. Comparing these organic monsters to human beings, I'm gonna say they all grow a lot. <laughs> Ten thousand tons, and the Megazord even gut punched one of them over a hundred feet into the air. Oh man! Assuming that monster is ten thousand tons, lifting it one hundred and thirty-three feet would require about ninety million newtons of force. Oh my god! As much force as a space shuttle's launching thrust. That kind of strength, I bet you could backhand a person into outer space. That's oddly specific. <laughs> Strange, wasn't it? Regardless, they've used that strength to take down countless monsters capable of wiping out all life on Earth. They even went toe to toe with Cyclopses, a war sword designed to oh. conquer entire worlds. But even for the Power Rangers, defending the Earth is no small job. When they least expect it, the Megazord's energy supply can be quickly exhausted in the middle of combat. Yeah. It doesn't help that half the reason is because they just get hit so damn much. Despite the Megazord's awesome power, it's really lacking in the whole maneuverability department. I mean, come on! It can at least try to avoid an attack. But when the enemy hits hard, the Power Rangers hit back even harder. Oh. The fate of the world lying in their hands. Yeah, they're cannon. Take them down. Yeah. Power Rangers! Power Rangers! Mighty Morphin Power Rangers! Oh yeah, baby. Alright, let's see what Voltron's got. Days of long ago, from uncharted regions of the universe, comes a legend. In less cryptic terms, 1200 years ago, the evil Drool Empire nearly conquered the entire known universe. But not everybody was cool with fleets of ships shooting up their planets, so a team of scientists and magic priests decided to fight back. Hmm. Through the marriage of magic and technology, they forged a 300-foot-tall living automaton, so powerful that it single-handedly pushed back the Empire's onslaught. Before long, the whole universe had heard of the mechanical knight known as Voltron. Sweet. I can say Voltron had a really recognizable theme, too. The Empire's King Zarkon ordered a space witch to kill Voltron with a magic space spell. And it kinda worked. Instead of being destroyed, Voltron was split up into five very merchandisable robot lions. Divided and stripped of its Yeah, they're all the same. The universe's best hope huh. had fallen. Until five space explorers crash-landed on Eris, the exact same planet the lions just so happened to be hiding on. 
Destiny or some crap led them to the castle where the Princess Allura gave them a life-changing opportunity. Hmm. Pilot the long-lost lions and go around saving the universe for a living. Keith Cogain is the head of the Lion Force in more ways than one. As leader of the team, he commands his cohorts, Dance and he pilots the Black Lion, the yeah. head of Voltron. He does Lance like McClain is the Han Solo of the group. This hot hmm. The Han Solo. <laughs> the Red Lion, which forms yeah. Voltron's right arm. So Yoshi Garrett, better known as Hump, and, is the and muscle and of the and team. And he pilots the Yellow Lion. Looks like they're, they're all from Earth. Constantly hungry. <laughs> is piloted by Sven Holgerson. Oh shit. No, he did. Oh, okay then. <laughs> By Princess Allura herself. Oh, over that's interesting. <laughs> the bad case of stabbing. <laughs> the bad case of stabbing. <laughs> Last up is Daryl Stoker. You can call him Pidge. Pidge yeah, he's like the techie guy. I, I see that. Absolutely crazy. He <laughs> says. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> It matches his lion's colors. I mean, damn, it's not that hard, people. Yeah, that's really and weird. All five lions combine, Voltron lives again. Activate mega thrusters. All right. Voltron! Form feet and legs. Form arms and body. And I'll form the head. Hmm. You, wish, you ever think about how the pilots stay in the heads of the lions when they're fighting? That has to be like ridiculously nauseating. Oh Hell yeah. That's probably why they usually travel by flight and prefer long range combat over hand to hand. Oh. Speaking of which, Voltron got busy fighting Zarkon. I gotta say, the Megazord fights almost all the time hand to hand. Assortment of weapons. Voltron can shoot stingray missiles and even pillars of flame out of its hands and flames. Or blast the lion heads off like rockets. It can stun enemies with ion dart lasers from its head, or use the Electro Force cross attack from its chest. Hmm. On Keith's command, the Lion Force can manifest Voltron's most powerful weapons out of thin air. Everything from spinning laser blades to javelins to nunchucks. Whoa. The real showstopper is the almighty Blazing Sword. Form Blazing Sword! Oh boy. With this blade, Voltron can slice through most Robies like Jello and dish out the Starfire attack, which splits Robies apart and also makes a friggin' tornado for good measure. The Blazing Sword can also conduct electricity to recharge Voltron itself. Why are all these swords also batteries? The Blazing Sword is hmm. enormously powerful, capable of destroying a satellite hundreds of times larger than Voltron. Voltron himself is powerful enough to melt meteors, kick giant machines sky high, and take explosions the size of countries. The Voltron Lions have even traveled between galaxies in less than a day, making them several times faster than the speed of light. Voltron has mm. also survived landing on the Omega Comet, which is so dense it possesses the gravitational force of a black hole. Oh okay, god. That all sounds insane, but even giant robot man lions have their limits. Like getting ganged up on by multiple robies at once, or getting stabbed and sliced open. But like whole levels of gravity. <laughs> That's a gigwag, right? Voltron may be strong, but it lacks the finesse and skill of one trained in martial arts. Voltron also carries a shocking design flaw. If the release plates on its joints are struck in combat, it could jettison an entire limb from the core body. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me that if I kick Voltron, freaking Voltron, in the shins hard enough, <laughs> just lose a leg and pop right Oh. Up? Essentially, yes, though it has only happened in training. Even so, whether the Lion Force is up against a technical issue or a colossal robeast, the universe can always depend on Voltron. Okay. I'm moving for Voltron now. Right. Uh, I gotta say, I don't know. Okay, you gotta move your head over. You're too far behind. Keep back up. I don't know. I feel like it's a really hard decision because I, right, I'm gonna. All right, I'm just gonna mute him real quick. I feel like it's a really tough fight because was it the Megazord is better than hand to hand combat, but Voltron has a shit ton of weapons, but that he prefers to use from a distance. And he specifically said that Voltron doesn't prefer close range combat and that he can be taking like hard hits to the chest and shit. But then on the other hand, the Megazord itself is also weak in some aspects that it can take a lot of hits. I I don't know. It feels so close.
is that the sword of Megazord? Yeah, I feel like their swords are almost just as equal in power. I also feel like that the Megazords have killed be has killed better enemies than Voltron has. Like Voltron could survive better shit in space. The Power Rangers don't often go to space. Yeah. I so I, I really really don't know it seems so even but you okay if you're gonna go with voltron i'm gonna stick with my gut and I'm, I'm gonna hang on to the power rangers here and whoever wins this fight is gonna be so fair because this in my mind is easily one of the closest fight that it's ever had to, to yeah. come to so let's let's do this voltron power rangers let's get this started all right oh boy oh man that's matt pat from game theorists yep if that, I don't see a dinosaur today, I'm blaming you. That's Peanut Butter Gamer. <laughs> I'm picking up something. I know those two guys. I just know those two. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh man. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, this this fight just kind of started out of nowhere. I think I found the dinosaurs. Oh, boy. Zach here. This is Kick. This is Billy. All systems go. Training reporting. Ready to rock. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, th All right, they're just gonna start right from the beginning then. No hand-to-hand -hand combat. I guess it's just shit with the, the with the robots then. Here we go. Oh, dude, look at the bump. Look at the bump. Oh, that's so cool. That is so awesome. All right, here we go. Oh shit, they look so good. Voltron! Whoa! Oh! Oh man! Oh, we got him! Form spinning laser blades! Whoa! Ah, you see, they're just gonna take all that! Oh! Holy shit! Oh. 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 oh, the shield, the Mastodon shield. Oh man! Oh, oh! It hit, fucking hit him! Oh! Oh, this is so fucking cool. Seriously, four blazing swords. Oh, whoa, my God. Oh, he's gonna fire the beam. Oh. <laughs> They're both so used to that. <laughs> oh man, this is so cool. Yeah, Voltron's faster though. Oh, oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh! Laser beams! Oh! -ho! <gasps> yeah! Come on! You can do it! You can do it! You can do it! You can do it! Oh! Oh! The sword! Oh no, no! Everything! This is so fucking cool! Oh my god! Oh no, no! Come on! Come on! No! No! Oh! Oh, there's a 
good reason why Voltron is Shit. the defender of the universe. That was so yeah, fuck That was so fucking cool though. That was so cool. Combat, Voltron <laughs> couldn't go down so easily. Voltron's huge arsenal put it ahead, especially in long range. Even when the Megazord could get in close, it couldn't keep up with Voltron's oh, amazing speed. Man. Yeah, I had a saw Voltron that. travels between galaxies in a matter of hours, and it can fly. The Megazord once punched a monster weighing at most 10,000 tons, 133 feet into the air. In contrast, Voltron kicked a 3,900 ton mutated bulldozer nearly 1,900 feet up. Oh, Despite man. <laughs> Voltron's monster weighing less than the Megazords, this is still a more impressive feat. Comparing weight and distance traveled for both feats, Voltron's requires at least five and a half times more strength. Plus, Voltron uh. clearly had the superior durability, especially with that black hole comet feat. The Omega Comet's pull could destroy entire planets within 62 miles of itself, which means the comet could output forces of over 13 sextillion newtons. Son of a bitch. could survive anything close to that level of power. We can prove it. Later in Power Rangers history, they upgraded their mech to the Thunder Megazord. Oh, yeah. Specifically stated yeah. to be more powerful than the original Megazord in every way. The new Zords will serve you well. Once mastered, your Zords will reveal even greater powers. When this new Megazord fought against a giant Zord called Serpentera, which at full power could destroy planets, oh. a single blast from it easily tore the Thunder Megazord apart. Oh. And that blast didn't even use half of Serpentera's power. Voltron Damn. the Megazord in almost every way that counted, including strength, speed, and durability. Oh. I'm not lying. The winner. Ow. Oh, oh Christ! Oh man, that was still easy. One of the best looking death battles ever. That just looked really fucking cool. I I didn't want to abandon the Power Rangers, so I don't regret me voting for them. But kudos to Voltron. Good job. All right, what do we got now? Natsu, 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 baby, versus some guy from One Piece. Some dude from One Piece. I'm guessing. Oh, sweet dude. Fucking love Natsu. Oh man, okay, that was that was easily one of the coolest death battles I've I've have seen probably oh, of yeah. season four. That was just a wickedly awesome looking death battle. They had ten different voices from like other YouTubers. I mean, I only know two, but there were still a bunch of us. So it was really awesome. Really happy to see that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to leave a comment of what else you react in the future, and I will see you guys next time. Later's.